Right there, so today is the 5th of December and here we are picking up this 1996 Volvo 850 estate 2 litre 10 valve from, uh, from storage because we're taking it on a track day tomorrow at Donington Park. This car is uh, owned currently by um, Mr Hunter from the Jeff Weiss Cars channel. It's actually been in a raffle recently. It's done some ridiculous mud. I think it's 288,000 miles or something. I've had to jump it when I've got here the battery's flat. Sorry, 285,000 miles. I've had to jump it because the battery's totally flat. Um, I need to drive about 45 minutes to a hotel now. Um, but yeah, we've got it going. We're going to put my stuff from the S40 into there. Um, just giving it a chance to sort of charge up a bit. And um, then we will leave the S40 here. Come pick it up in a couple of days. And have some fun on the track day. Where we'll be going with Mr Hunter, uh, Lee the Macmaster. Apparently a chap in an MX-5 is going to give me some driving lessons on the track. Which should be good. Uh, we uh, look forward to that. Right, let's uh, pack them and get out of there. Right, viewers, um, we've made it to Donington Park services on the M1, although I didn't actually use the M1 to get here because I refuse to pay the M6 toll charge. Um, that's just the sort of person that I am. Um, we do have a few issues with this car. They're not too bad. The thermostat, I think, is not working correctly because the temperature gauge doesn't seem to be warming up, um, which is not good. Also, this car is exceptionally slow, like really, really slow. <laughs> it could be because the thermostat's not opening properly, I don't know. The interior lights do work, but you have to put them on manually, so... This is when I'm in a well-lit car park to get things in and out. Central locking works, the doors are a bit sticky for some reason. Mr Hunter's left me a child seat for some reason. Nobody thinks I'm going to sit in there, I can't really see anyway. I don't know why I'm filming in the dark, it's just I, I arrived when it was a bit dark. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'll have to actually look at this car a little bit more in the, um, um, in the morning when we're actually at the track, because we're going to get there really early, so it'll be dark again. So... Uh, that's what I'll have to do, and I shall see you tomorrow. Well, viewers, it's uh, the next morning. Greetings from extremely cold Donington Park services at an hour that is completely unearthly for me. We've got a problem here. Unfortunately, my locks are totally frozen. The key fob I've got here doesn't actually work, so... That's not very good, is it? Right, I'll have to go back inside and get some get some hot water and see if I can unfreeze this lock. Otherwise, we're not going anywhere. Well, she started. Very blessed for a couple of chaps actually uh, helped me out. One chap had a can of de-icer. I forgot my car scraper as well, so I'm going to have to use one of my cards. Um, and uh, I used a mug of hot water, dipped the key in it, once I actually read, got it in the barrel, I opened the car. Goodness gracious me, okay. Fortunately, we've still got a bit of time. And uh, once I've got rid of the ice on the car, I'll be on my way. I'll rig the mount up and uh, we'll go from there. Right, viewers. Bye, um rear window just to be working very well for some reason. Oh, my ABS is working though. <laughs> oh, it's a bit icy. This is going to be a fun day of a track. We've got ice. Lovely. Just as well, I haven't got a lot of power. I think I've got, in this car, something like 125 horsepower. Which, um, you know, is enough to be scary on this day. Although at least I'm not in like a GTR or something, but apparently there's some of those coming to me. So uh, it is a non-competitive track day, just as well for me, because this car is exceptionally slow. 
the official figures when this car was new suggest it does 0 to 60 in something like 11.5 seconds, which it, I'm sure it did back in the day, but it's feeling now like, um, well, it, uh, it doesn't. <laughs> so the other thing is the thermostat is actually broken. It's quite common on these. It's not a difficult job to do or anything like that or an expensive job. It's just this isn't, this isn't my car. This car's actually been uh, raffled off already. Um, I'm glad that uh, Mr. Hunter has offered me the chance to drive this despite the fact that it didn't start yesterday and this morning it was totally frozen over. But there we go. So we've got Leader Map Master coming. I think someone else has got a Volvo V70R. Um, apparently, we're supposed to be having some lessons from somebody in an MX5 track car or something uh, as well, which is which is fun. Um, but my mission for today uh, at the moment is just to actually get there and, um, and sign on. I'm hoping they have some helmets to hire because I did look into getting what Mr. Hunter did. I think he paid like £140 for this. Um, but um, I don't think I'm gonna really going to need to have one most of the time. So I, I elected to buy one. I hope they have them. They said they've had, so that will be fine. Otherwise, I won't be going on the track. Um, also, I must warn you as well, for some reason, I, I've looked at the website about what cameras you can use to film something inside the car, because lots of people try to do that now, lots of people on YouTube. And um, they say I need to kind of tether or something uh, for the mount that I'm using, and I don't think Mr. Hunter and I have um, these tethers at all. Uh, so if we don't get any in-car footage from the day, um, then you'll know that's why, because we didn't get through scrutinary, but we didn't have the right things. So, yes, this is why I'm calling it a terribly traumatic track day, because <laughs> it's not been perhaps the smoothest process for us to get going. Mr. Hunter has to spend a lot of money on his car, which could only cost him £500 in the first place, to actually, uh, to actually get it in a condition where we can use it. Um, I haven't spent any money on this, I've obviously put some fuel in, because I'm just borrowing it. Uh, but I think, you know, I'm going to be the slowest person on track anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I've not done any modifications to this car. So we shall have them just the experience. Right, um, is um, a very cold day is a very clear day and for that I am thankful because it was forecast to rain today and that would have been unpleasant shall we say right um, I shall see you shortly right viewers so here we are fortunately I managed to get a nice thumbnail oh my gosh the ground has got sheet ice on it <laughs> whoops I better walk very carefully over to Mr Hunter's car and he's got no number plates on. I wonder why that is. Apparently the heater's working. Um, my rear heated window is not working. So we shall go in and we can see the livery that Mr Hunter has uh, put on his very nice car. Oh, we've got very, very rusty uh, sort of a wheel hub there, but never mind. 500 pound car. Good morning, sir. Wow, a beige leather interior. Some of it. <laughs> uh, sir, you, you seem to have thrown away about 140 kilograms worth of stuff. Yes, I have. And look, we've even got wires, could have trailing around. We are now a super Ruggiero. Now, does my thing work? Yeah, it does, So yeah. I can get out, okay. Yeah, it all works. Right, let's, uh, Climb in. let's get in here. We're just waiting for the imminent wow. arrival of... Uh, the Mac Master, sir. The Mac Master, indeed. I don't, know oh. where, I don't know how he's managed to get lost on the way to Donington. Well, you can go in the other entrance, which I did, yeah, because I I'm an idiot. No, we did that as well. I, I actually was aimed for this entrance, and then second-guessed myself, turned around and went to that entrance, and then second-guessed myself yeah. again and came back. Yeah. But in the process, I told Lee to go to the other entrance. Yeah, <laughs> uh, oh, oh, we don't have any heated seats anymore. Anymore. No, we don't. Um, so my bottom is is very cold. They didn't work anyway. Um, yeah, but I, I don't know if they're working that car, to be honest. Um, uh, no, I don't recall that. It, no. It's not often you get an 850 where they work, and if they do work, they never work very well. Uh, my C70, they work beautifully. Yeah, they do all the newer stuff. 
I, I, yeah. I just bought yesterday the one that arrived after I saw you. Allegedly, that's beautiful. The heated seats are superb. And so sir, we'll it also has a part beige leather interior. It does. It, I think it's got wood as well, isn't it? Uh, there's a, uh, no, I don't think that's got wood actually. No wood. No wood. No, no wood. wood. I'm taking that car on a road trip tomorrow. I don't understand where the errant Porsche has gone. How can you've got lost? I don't know. He was I like mean, two I've, behind me. I've managed to. I've, I've checked in everything. I've got the. I've got the helmet. Um, they take, it, they it take, is very, very, very icy, isn't it? You're not wearing a seatbelt, so... No, 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 don't, 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 don't stop pulling my handbrakes, I sir. I won't do a handbrake, then. Because, because that will be silly. And I'll get in trouble. Yeah, you will. I mean, we won't be able to go on the track at all, sir. And I don't, I don't want to get in trouble before we start. No, we haven't even got on the track. No, no, but... That, um, that, that, this is going to be insane. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to be able to be... Him? There he is. Oh, it's oh right. I know why it is. It's because he's a YouTuber, and he's been filming everything on the way up. Oh, uh, right, That's sir. That's what he's doing. I haven't filmed anything. Uh, I'll say, what's your ABS like doing on, sir? Which one? ABS, sir. Uh, it's probably an ABS sensor. They're always going, these old Volvos. Uh, this car has many, many problems, which is why it I It has many oh, problems. This is why I felt okay about stripping it to the ground. Oh, look, sir, he's filming you as he's coming he in. Is. He is. Oh, you haven't got, oh, you haven't got a door. Well, <laughs> fancy meeting you here. You've not got electric windows anymore, have you, sir? You've no, got, not got, got, you've not got anything. I haven't got anything. Yeah. You park over, park over there behind the uh, garage 39. We're going to go and find our garage. I have a feeling this person is here to speak to us. Yeah, we better, we better move out of the way. Morning. So we're going to the other side of where the, uh, the garage is. You'll, you'll, see, you'll see where the other car's parked. Apparently we're getting a garage. Who's paying for that then? I'd pay for the garage. Oh, that's very kind of you, sir. Um, and then I'd better pay for the passenger to come with me because I don't want to actually die on this track. That would be terrible. Yeah. So, what have we got going on the track? We've got Caterham, got MG, Mini. Yeah. Uh, ooh, the Tigra, TT. It's a couple of TTs, yeah. MX-5s, of course, Honda Civic Type R. Is that an F, what do they call it, FN2 or so something? So we need to go in that building there to check in, yeah? That's it, yeah, you can see where I am there. Oh, yeah. I was just about to say, oh, there's a nice little Volvo there, and then she That's me. <laughs> right, let's go get checked in. Good idea, sir. One thing I will save you is, although the uh, driving conditions today are not um, perfect exactly, in fact, we might be waiting a bit for the sighting laps, which are compulsory here, um, at least it's quite sort of <laughs> cinematic, actually, with this weather. I think looking at uh, the other cars that are here, apart from that one, of course, um, we might be the slowest ones, Mr. Hunter and I, but that's okay. At least the ice is now starting to uh, melt from my car. I mean, tomorrow, uh, Tomorrow morning I won't have to worry about this because I'm not leaving the hotel until much, much later. So, check my tyres. Have a very kind gentleman by the name of David here from the... Can you say the name of your channel, though? Uh, Crap Car Hunter. Thank you. <laughs> Who's uh, very kindly providing us with um, this a little tyre inflator, which goes in the cigarette lighter. We're just warming the engines up as well. Um, We've been a bit delayed on the sighting lap because the ground is still really frozen. Fortunately here it's okay. Uh, they've salted the pits a bit. But we're just doing Miss Hunter's uh, tyres here. And uh, we are ready to go. I've actually filmed most of it after no budget reviews whilst waiting. I've used my time effectively. And um, yeah, so we'll be ready to go quite soon. Lots and lots and lots of vapour. I think he's going for 36 PSI, I'm going for 32. Whether that's going to make any difference at all, I don't know. Fortunately, the previous owner of this car has actually put some decent tyres on the front. But I've also realised that my rear suspension is, I don't know, uh, how do we put this? Not very good, um, I think is the answer to that. Here is Lee just looking, he's looking sort of, I don't know, he's looking sort of a bit smug in here. You're nice and warm in here, sir. I'm nice and warm, but the only issue is I'm yes, using sir. battery. Oh dear. And I don't want to use battery. Oh dear. So I need to turn it off in a minute. I mean, you could plug it in there. Have you seen all the screens? They're taking battery lock. One, two, three, four. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> quite a lot of screens in here. I'm maybe taking it easy because, well, it's an expensive car and I've just had new tyres on as well. So I, I won't be. We're not racing anyway, are we? Just, no, you're not. You're not. No, you're not. It's, it's, it's a non-competitive non track day. Non-competitive track day. Yeah, you, so you're not allowed to time anything. Right, even though I've got an, a professional. You're timing, not allowed to use it. I can't use this timer. No, you here. can't. Right. Otherwise, you'll be ejected. I'll be ejected. Yes, so you no will. No use of this timer. <laughs> right, viewers. After quite a long wait. Oh gosh, I can still see my breath in here. After quite a long wait, uh, it looks like we are going to go and do some sighting laps. Um, which is fine, I've filmed an entire sort of non-driving section of no budget reviews whilst I, um, whilst I was actually uh, um, waiting. So that's good, saving time. Right, I suppose we better get out onto the track now. Here we go. Everyone else is lining up. Quite a number of um, other more powerful cars around. Just wait a second for the others to uh, turn up. I'm going to try to drive about this visor down because it's all steaming up. But yes, the other two chaps are getting in the car. I wish it was an open face helmet, but I didn't really want to bother spending £100 on something that I don't know if I'm going to be using again. So, Mr. Hunter is in his 850. Lena MacMaster is in the Porsche Taycan. There's a lot of cars here today. There's masses of them. And somehow, I don't think we're going to be going very fast. Uh, not at all. Right, heater is on, with my very cold hands. We'll see you in a second, yet. Okay, so we're behind this Peugeot 206. I think I'm going to have to wait quite a while in this pet lane. Just a sighting lap. So we can um, see what the track's like. I have actually watched a video of somebody driving a uh, Porsche 911 GT3 RS already uh, along the track. So I roughly know what it looks like, but um, I'm going to be driving this thing very slowly anyway. Which isn't very exciting, viewers, but uh, if you want more exciting footage, of course, you can look at some other videos of the day made by Mr. Hunter from Jeff Bice Cars and Lee the Macmaster. Here we go viewers. We'll flip the camera around in a second, just getting used to the fact that we should check before we come out of there. Ooh. Yeah. That was, uh, for me, that was quite fast actually. I think everyone else is going to be a lot faster than me. No question if it was the weather. Yeah, I'm going to have to be very careful. But I don't get into anybody's back. Oh, I've just realised we've got this ridiculous thing in the way as well. Well, that's when Nigel Maxwell went off just there. It's a trip by Randy. Gosh, this thing's just got not a lot of power. Really not much power at all. Yeah. Visor down. I've got some incredibly fast cars behind me. I can't see very well. Whoop, there we are. Yeah, let's 
try going a bit fast. I don't realise that people are supposed to be overtaking on a sighting. I didn't think they were supposed to be doing that. At least it gets me used to what actually is going to happen during the track day. Let's go down a bit. Very careful. Right, let's see if we can actually get some speed up in this thing. I don't I don't think we're gonna be getting much, but uh, just let everybody else go past me. Everybody go past. There we go. I'm only doing about 60 anyway, I'm not going very fast. I don't really want to go very fast anymore. <laughs> That's one lap then. Try going a bit more slowly around here because it was a dodgy rule. Not the track focused suspension in this car at all. Not really. It's going to go as fast as I actually feel comfortable to do so. I think we can maybe go. Ooh. Fortunately, this um, Toyota Celica that's behind me seems to be quite sensible. And it's just letting me kind of do what I need to do, but just keep to the right hand side. Find the light. Right, what we'll do is I'll um, come to the end of this lap and I'll stop recording. It's probably quite boring for all of you, so. Yeah, I can't really go around that corner much faster than that because I can feel the, the car up wanted to understeer. Around the apex, there we go. Keep to the right down this very long straight. Doing about 65 miles an hour now, but we'll go down a few gears into the chicane. Right, this is where we're supposed to be able to get some speed. We're going past the pits now. Get to seven. Probably not. No. Okay, that's it. I'll switch the camera off for just a moment and we'll go back round again and into the bits. Right, viewers, we're back from the sighting lap. So we'll, Lee is back. Both um, Mr. Hunter and uh, Lee have been taking instructors out with them. I'm probably going to take one with me because it was a little bit terrifying at times out there because it's just so it's just so wet and sort of a bit slippy. Right, as you can hear, the background view is lots of people still using the track, so I think we will wait a bit for one of these gentlemen to let me through. And then we'll go back out again and see how we do. But I think everyone else is going to be going considerably faster than, uh, than I am but that's okay um, we will get faster hopefully a little bit during the day but so far it is um, it's okay and um, the marshal did tell me to take the child seat I should have thought about that earlier shouldn't I well viewers something exciting just happened I didn't have the camera switched on at the time but um, I got to the end of the pit lane and the marshal said have you been out today i said uh just did a sighting lap he said okay well just be a bit careful the track's still quite slippery and your tires will be quite cold so just take a bit of care out there i said okay so off i went 
made sure I joined um, joined the truck carefully and everything. So I got round the first corner fine, um, and then there's a little sort of chicane at the back end of the track, and um, the catering went past me, and I thought, okay, well I'll just follow the line, and I followed the line too closely, and. I lost the back end of the car in the corner. Apparently, it's not the only place it sort of happened. Apparently, Mr. Hunter, who's just gone out again, has also spun. It, it was fine. Nothing happened, apart from spinning the car. And I, I actually almost stayed entirely on the tarmac, and they yellow flagged everything, and then I just got let out by somebody, and I was able to continue. But it was a little bit... It was a little bit hairy. Um, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is just take a... Just take a bit of a break for a bit, and um, we'll uh, wait to see when the chaps get back in, and uh, I will, I will, uh, you know, have a little whirl with them, and uh, we'll see what's happened. It is a little bit scary out there, so um, yeah, I wasn't, even, I wasn't even going that fast. 40, 45, I don't know, um, but there we are. Let's see what else is coming. Oh, very fast mini, that's a Cooper S, a supercharger. What else have we got? MGZR 170, it'll be tuned a bit then. It's a uh, mini, I think. Yeah, mini, Stick Swift. V70 T5. That sounds fast. Uh, some kind of kit car, maybe a Caterham. EP3 Civic Type R. Oh, another supercharged Mini Cooper S. Then uh, Renault Sport Clio. 182, I think. It's quite a large gap between the cars. It's quite good. Eh? Addy TT. Yeah, you want you want a large gap behind you today. Um, clear mark three. It is quite addictive to the being out there, but it's not. <laughs> it's not exactly without risk, and of course you do sign all the forms. Another moth to Cleo. One of the that thing is, that thing that just keeps passing me. Um, latest generation Mini. Toyota Yaris. I think we call it the GR Yaris, the latest one. And a Celica. Oh, that's Mr. Hunter. He sounds quite good passing by, actually. Ben Caterham. We'll soon find out. It's been round since more than once. When the first car that I saw comes Be back in. Power. Yeah, that's a mini again. <laughs> right. There we are, viewers. Right. Um, there's been a bit of a situation, viewers. The marshals just came and uh, had a word with me, and Mr. Hunter has uh, also had the same sort of experience. Um, we can see here that Mr. Hunter has left the track. Um, I did leave the track very briefly, but he's left it in a bit more of a dramatic fashion than me. So I think what we're going to have to do is uh, have a little bit where we calm down, <laughs> at least, and um, maybe I'll have to take one of the instructors with me. The other thing that's happened as well is it's not just us um, being a bit sort of ridiculous. There genuinely is very little grip on the back end of these cars. Um, we're not weighted down or anything, and so it's very easy to lose the back end if it's slippery. There are a couple of other V70s as well, with V70 T5, I called my T5 earlier on. Um, and, uh, you know, they, um, they uh, um, have also been dumping gravel and things like that, as you can see here. So the marshals are not very happy with us, and we're going to have to be more careful, I think. Uh, but yes, uh, such is the rich pageant of life.